I'm in Seoul right now. <laughs> We're going to a city called Paju. Uh, it's about an hour and a half away from where we are in Seoul and we're gonna meet someone really special there. We're in Paju now. It's a city like a little bit outside of Seoul and it's um, there's a lot of publishing houses and publishing companies here and I'm here to meet the people at Dominant Industry. Very excited. Um, this is Joy, my sister. Hi. They have a set up where you can make your own ink as well so we're gonna see how that goes okay let's go in
Hello everyone, I'm back in New York in our new studio. I hope you guys enjoyed watching my vlog, visiting Dominant Industry in Seoul. Um, I wanted to do a little recap of my visit and also swatch these inks with you. So Dominant Industry is located in Paju. It took me about an hour and a half to get there. Um, it is a little bit far, but once you get there, it's really peaceful and really clean and calm. It kind of gave me like suburban vibes. They have a lot of cafes around that are book cafes where you can uh, sit down and like read a lot of books. The one we went to had like really tall ceiling and a lot of books. It was really cool. It is worth getting up there if uh, you're staying in Seoul for a little longer and, and you want to mix your own colors with dominant industry. Lee actually does a really good job explaining how to go about doing that. You might know that dominant industry is known for their pearl series as well as their standard series. So you can mix either standard or pearl. They will bottle your inks uh, in, the, in these dominant industry bottles and with the ink recipe that you worked on you will fold it up and seal them in these envelopes and the idea with this is that you can leave these two recipes at their at dominant industry at their ink library to be part of their library and uh, what's cool is that only you can open these sealed envelopes so dominant industry will not open these if you let's say want to make more bottles you run out of this bottle and you want to make more or if you want to kind of tweak the recipe a little bit you can go back to dominant industry in Paju and open your own envelope and work on another bottle there. Um, I left one of mine at the ink library and then I brought one of these home just to kind of show you and also keep as a, a souvenir. I had an idea um, to make two colors that are inspired by coffee. So number one is called espresso and number two is called cortado. And if you are not familiar, Cortado is a um, espresso drink where you get two shots of espresso and let's say this is two shots, basically an equal amount of that in milk. So I like Cortado as opposed to lattes because um, I don't like to drink too much milk, but that's what a Cortado is. So I wanted to do a dark brown espresso and a milkier, or milky brown color for the Cortado. So I've opened these boxes already and taken the bottles out. They do come in these bags, which all of Dominant Industry um, inks do. You can see um, this one says espresso in the bottle and it says standard here. And then this one says pearl series and Cortado here. Let's swatch espresso first. This is MD paper. So I wanted espresso to be a dark brown that's good for everyday writing. So I actually watered it down a lot with their clear base, which is kind of what you start out with. If you add a lot of the base, what happens is it will basically make the ink um, shade a lot. So I don't know if you can tell here, but this espresso color actually does shade a little bit. Now I'm gonna swatch Cortado, which is a pearl ink or shimmer ink. So I'm gonna shake it. So in order to make a milky like latte color, um, I learned that since there's no white dye to work with, um, you can actually use white uh, shimmer powder to lighten up the color. Also, I added a lot of base to this as well, which uh, kind of waters down the 
or thins out the ink and lets the white of the paper come through more um, which allows me to achieve this light milky brown color and this is Cortado There you go, those are the two colors that I mixed at Dominant Industry. I really enjoyed the experience and I really loved their space as well. It's really beautiful with their unique um, ink library shelving system. And I love that now I have my own two little Dominant Industry inks. Thank you so much for watching my vlog and I'll see you in our next video. Bye!